Hey everybody, it's Saturday and today we took on a big project. Kind of last minute we decided to go ahead and butcher our bull calf who is two years old now. Um, we've planned to have him um, as a source of our beef since the time he was born and uh, we were talking this morning about just how really cool it was because this cow was conceived, born, raised, and butchered right here at Kidding Around Farm. And he, this is where he spent his entire life. And I just think that's really cool. Anyway, um, Charlie and Nathaniel took that on first thing this morning. Charlie was up taking care of that before I was even out of bed. I was barely even awake <laughs> when he was up going outside and um, butchering this bull. Um, he's a bull for only one reason. Uh, obviously he was born a bull, but we never got around to uh, castrating him and making him into a steer. So that was just a downfall of ours one of those things that happens here sometimes that we just you know get too busy and things get by us and that one got by us but um he's been a great cow and now we're really going to enjoy having some beef in our freezer again um so this whole video will show charlie um butchering the cow um i did not want to get into the actual killing so we do not have that on video although it went very smoothly i'm happy to say um the video starts while charlie and nathaniel are um working on taking the hide off and um you do see some of the removal of the innards and then evidently Charlie was getting frustrated about having to deal with the camera and everything and he turned it off and so you don't see anything else until they're done and you have two separate halves of meat hanging from the tractor and he's going and loading it up into um, the back of the truck because we did manage to find a friend who has a um, I guess a deer cooler and he was willing to let us hang our um, hang our cow in there for three weeks. And so we're thrilled that this time we're able to hang it. The last time we um, just kept it in a cooler and changed out the water and added ice every single day, multiple times a day. And uh, did that for a couple of weeks in order to... Um, obviously to keep it cold but to get it to um, where the meat was the right age and therefore the right tenderness um, for us to then start cutting it into parts so right now our plan is for um, three weeks from now for us to finish cutting it in parts and um, doing all the processing and freezing and all of that so um, this is not something that I typically enjoy taking part in and you don't need a whole lot of hands-on um, anyway, so like I said, Charlie and Nathaniel were taking care of it. Uh, then Nathaniel had to go to work. Nicholas joined in. Um, I think towards the end, Alex was coming in to um, to do a little bit too. And what? Okay, I just got corrected. Um, Alex worked out there really hard with Nicholas and Charlie too. Um, it was just all on parts that Charlie took. <laughs> that Charlie did not record so um, but she she's a real trooper in getting out there and helping with this too I on the other hand had soaked a lot of black beans yesterday so that I could go ahead and can them so I spent the entire day in the kitchen uh, canning black beans and making butter and uh, making yogurt and matter of fact that's what the if you can hear the beeping in the background that's because the yogurt's done <laughs> It sat there for its eight hours and now it's time to um, scoop it out and put it in the refrigerator so 
Um, I got a lot done in the kitchen today, which I really needed a good uh, work in the kitchen day for sure. And um, Charlie got a lot done outside and that was our Saturday. I was hoping to get some other things done, but not so, um, that just didn't work out. And um, that's what our video is about today. So yes, you, please take um, into consideration what this video is about before you allow your children to join you in watching this. Um, some people are fine with their children seeing things like this and some people aren't. Um, obviously our children are used to it and uh, know that this is just part of life and um, and I will say that uh, my youngest daughter Anna Claire, she just turned eight. This is not something she particularly enjoys. It's hard uh, it's, it's definitely hard with the cows. It's harder with the cows than it is with any other animal. It's not even so hard with the pigs, um, but the cows are just here so much longer that it's, it is a difficult thing to, um, to know you're gonna have to kill this animal to provide food for your table. And while she understands all of that, um, it's difficult on her too. So anyway, I hope you enjoy just the, it's basically just a little bit of an overview of um, butchering this cow and, and that's it, no details. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.